Okay, this next trailer is for a movie called Obsession, and it's labeled as a crime movie. I'm not even going to try to attempt this person's name uh, because I'm sure I'm going to butcher it. Looks like the last name is Pfeiffer, though. And uh, just the title and the description of the genre of film made me interested to uh, enough to put it in my you know to bookmark it and so now I'm finally getting around to watching it it's been in there a while so let's go ahead and check this one out you want a job Mr. Joe? yes sir I saw you help one of that for a mechanic and I called that position's already been taken you alright man? I owe you some money. I can't forget my husband, Mr. Jordan. Homie, Are you really as good a mechanic as you say you are? George, I can fix anything on wheels. So why don't you just help me out? I got everything to make one right here. Yeah, I see that. One of them's way around the shoe ring. Good hands. Mr. Jordan, if you want to stay here, you have to stop looking at me the way you do. And I'm not be looking at you. You'd have to be looking at me too, right? We need to be careful. If anyone were to suspect that we're together, it would be bad. Sonny, we're going for a ride. Where are we going? You'll see. I'm going to build what I have always dreamed of a motorsports park. This could be over. What about seeing that husband? Hey, sis, they give you the need to understand what you're talking about. You're the one talking, and I haven't said a word. What if we made it look like a robbery? How about an accident, maybe? You know, a pretty woman like that can get a man to do a lot of things. This pretty woman. She's not that pretty, though. A lot of money. <laughs> Sonia, are you gonna turn on me? Why? Are you gonna turn on me? <laughs> do you love me, Sonia? You know I do. Okay. Um, oh, the Jack in the Box, that looks kind of cool, a little, I saw that one already. Okay, so this trailer, I, I, well, I mean, they basically just told you the entire synopsis like so many other trailers have done. I'm, I can, I feel like I can predict what's going to happen. They're both going to get caught, or they're going to kill each other, or something like that. Um, they'll kill the guy, the husband, and that will be you know the end where, where they'll, they'll either turn on each other or they'll they'll get killed or caught or something like that i'm not particularly interested to watch it to find out what the ending is maybe i will read the wikipedia ending or the movie pooper or movie spoiler this is exactly the type of crime movie that i don't like because I just don't like the premise at all. I don't like stories where there's this um, affair thing that happens and then the, the person who's being cheated on, they scheme to kill him or do these horrible things to, to him or her, whichever, however the scenario goes. I really just inherently uh, kind of shun those, kind, those sorts of films. I just am not, I, they, they repulse me because I because I can't sympathize with or get behind or support or identify with the main characters in the film when they're behaving this badly and this is a main character who is behaving badly and I don't appreciate that so it's it's like it's the same sort of reason why I could, never really wanted to watch things like Breaking Bad or even The Sopranos like I like I mentioned before yes I watched Dexter but he was killing bad people so that was that was easier to swallow it wasn't like he was going and assaulting innocent women or children or innocent men it wasn't like that that wasn't going on so he while he was this serial killer um, and had these very violent and vile and awful tendencies, he was directing that in a way that wasn't as offensive to me as if he was hurting innocent people. So it's easier to support 
or get behind because they kind of take on a bit of a heroic role in that case. So, yeah, I'm not inclined to watch this particular uh, film. So, I mean, I'm glad I checked the trailer out because I never would have known. I thought it was going to be just some crazy person obsessed with the main character or something. It turns out they're both idiots and they're going to do this. They're planning to do this horrible thing. This guy has taken him in to his home and they uh, both decide they're going to do this bad thing to him. Plus, they're, they're cheating on him or the wife is cheating on him behind, behind his back. So that just immediately puts a bad taste in my mouth. Um, and so I think I'll probably pass on this particular film, even though I might read the ending just to find out. And if it's got an ending that seems like it would be satisfying to see carry out, then maybe I'll watch it. We'll see. Don't know. Anyway, okay, that's it for now. Bye.